Spiritual Manifestations, A Brief Record of My Own Experiences, by Sir W. M. Earnshaw Cooper, CIE. In recounting to friends certain psychic phenomena which it has been my fortune to experience during the last few months, I have been urged to place on record all that has occurred to me for the benefit of those interested in the study of spiritual manifestations. On giving the matter due consideration, I am confronted by several questions that seem to require careful thought before I commit to writing, and therefore, possibly, to eventual publication, certain events in my life of a nature which most men regard as being sacred and inviolable. To review the past is not altogether a painless process to most people, but to reopen one's life for public inspection at one of its most painful pages is a task that all would shrink from. Nevertheless, it seems to me that unless there be some purpose underlying the extraordinary manifestations of spirit power with which I have recently been favored, these phenomena would probably have been either withheld altogether or would have assumed other form. Bearing in mind the nature of these revelations, and never overlooking the fact that their commanding feature seems to be the revealment of certain truths which mankind generally are apt to regard as of no moment to their lives. It becomes apparent that the establishment of these truths is what is aimed at by those friends from beyond the veil. The establishment of a truth is difficult enough in respect to any of the moral, social and economic conditions which environ the purely material life of mankind, but to seek to set up certain truths in respect to man's spiritual condition, and especially to his life in the hereafter, is to essay that which seems, at the moment, to be an almost superhuman task. What is truth? demanded Pilate of the Christ, and the question has been asked by men of all countries and of all creeds during countless ages.